Something that I thought let this car down from the beginning, the paintwork is pretty good on it, but this, this just in the Australian sun has gone, it's gone gray, it's quite brittle. Um, there's a gasket on here that's gone all, it's torn and a bit perished as well. You can try to refurbish it. You can see here, I put some kind of back to black stuff on it, but that's it just to try it. It made it a bit darker, didn't do too much. You can always try the heat gun trick. You can with black plastics like this. Did that on a Jeep Wrangler, it worked pretty good. I got a replacement price from Porsche and it was $108 Australian, which is pretty cheap. Um, so you got to order this piece here, you order the gasket, um, and then for another 24 bucks, you get these little plugs, uh, covers, because inside is a bolt to hold it on. So let's get to cracking. Now I've got to mark these wiper blades. It's an easy thing to do. You just need a couple socket sizes and one torque size right there. So we'll get started and remove this old one. Just to make alignment easy. Okay, so just pop off these caps. If you haven't lost yours already, look, just do it with your fingernail. They shouldn't be on there too tight. Don't lose it down there. And to make it easy to put it back on, I have a just a liquid paper pen, and we're gonna just mark on here and on the nut, on the bolt inside. So the nut's done and the bolt's done, so we can line those up. Uh, put a bit on there, so we can line up the arm, boop, boop, right across there. That way, when we put them back on, we know what angle and what spline they're going to sit on. So the nuts in here, everybody's favorite size, 10 millimeter. They're barely on, so you don't need to torque these down very hard. It's just, they're quite loose. I mean, you're just holding plastic, so it's not too much. So we'll take that off, take the other side off, and then we'll see to taking off the wiper arms. So the nuts in here on the arms are 13 mil. Um, it's tight, you don't need an extension, you can't get an extension, but you can get a ratchet in there, no problem. Uh, be careful you don't drop the nut down the hole, um, but I luckily didn't. And then we want to unclip all these panels. Now they're just lightly clipped in anyway, so when we pull up on this, it should just come off. So, But we do have the washer sprayers, so we'll have to disconnect these little nozzles from the inside. And once we get it off, there should be a little way to push those out. So the way these are held on, there's like a, I took that one off, it's a spline driving. You see it's got a taper to it. So they're held on uh, with that nut over that. Now I found that you just kind of have to give it a few taps. That's just not very hard at all with the little extension. And uh, that's enough to loosen it up and a little wiggle. You might need some penetrating oil on it if you uh, in an area with a lot of corrosion, but it should, this one's come off real easy. Now that these arms are off, and you see one of them, it's just a, you know, the paint's just a little bit worn on it. The other one's okay. Uh, I'll probably just give them a little bit of a cleanup, and I think I'm gonna give them a little shot with satin black and just uh, make them really look new again. Might as well, we're doing the rest of it, so that's only gonna be a minute to do that. Now we gotta remember to remove this Torx. It's a T25. Again, that's not held in by much at all. And that's just a little torque screw. Quick removal of the battery cover, which is just turning the little pegs there and pulling it straight off. You've got more, two more torques there and there. Remove those. And then we've got some clips here, wiring. And then there is the, uh, the windscreen washer sprayer. So that disconnects there and then we'll transfer the squirters and these other clips over to our new replacement cowl. Okay, I'm sure everyone has their own way of undoing these clips, but you squeeze them. I worked it on the other side. And then just a little wiggle up and down while pulling it towards the middle. And out they come. Here we go. Now the 
washer line. You see that there, just already disconnected. It's just a like a not even a 90 degree, degree turn, and it just pulls straight out. So that is all set to come off now. see what it looks like when it's un not in the sun compared to in the sun it's very gray here's our replacement so we've got the new cowl and then we've got the new seal and then we'll put the caps on new little caps on shortly so part numbers are here they're going in the description of course and then you can order those from your local Porsche dealer yeah you can see a bit of a difference there that is so much darker. That'll really finish off the car nicely. All right, this is the underside to take the washer jets out. Pretty simple. You can see at the top there, there's a little wedge. Just push that and it should be able to remove. There we go. That'll pop out through the top. And then we can undo the little uh, hose and pull it through. To remove these clips, you've got, see a little tiny tab there? Uh, get it around, in the middle. Yeah. So that, we're gonna uh, lift up and push back. Or do we push it down? Push it down and push it back. There it goes, and it slides out. So you've just moved that. See how it catches on those things there? So this one we had to push down and do that. So that is all free to come out there. We just need to just disconnect the hose. So hopefully we don't break any of these plastic T pieces. twist and pull that until it comes off. Here it goes. Now I took that, of course, that T-piece off to get the washer jets out. Just pull up through those holes. Uh, and I noticed inside there's like a screen and that screen is a bit gunked up. So you might want to give it a little clean at this point. Just put it under the tap and uh, swish some water and kind of back through it and wash off any of the gunk. It's quite a bit of debris in there. So we'll give that a little clean as well right now. So that little screen comes out. Make sure you don't lose it down the drain like I almost did. Uh, but mine is really clogged up, so uh, I'm surprised it was even spraying at all. Definitely take that out and give it a clean. Uh, I guess that's why it's got a quick connect, so it'll be a serviceable thing if it's if your washers aren't working well. Uh, even if you're not doing this, you can easily take that out and give it a tidy up to get your windscreen wipers working a bit better. Now it's time to fit the rubber strip. So there is a groove in the strip, and then there's a groove in your cowling. Have a look at how your car was to begin with and it fits in. It's pretty straightforward. Um, they just fit together and hold themselves in place. So we'll just take our time and we get it all in there nice and straight. Probably have to go over it a few times to get out any wrinkles because it's been packed up. But now we're gonna get that in and then we can put it in the car. Uh, it took a bit of fiddling and poking and trying to get that rubber into the channel but it's in there um, you could use a few drabs of super glue i'm sure wouldn't go astray if you wanted to use that to try to hold it in and you can see it's a little bit longer than needed so we just have to trim that and you can look at what the old ones trim like and they just trimmed it on an angle to fit neatly inside on the tip so we'll do that with some sharp scissors okay we've reconnected 
the little clips, the washer jets are back in, the little rubber seals on, and now we're going to reinstall it. handfuls of leaves to remove there. There we go, just a bit of wiggling to get in. Pull up that trim. Get in and lock it down, our little tabs. Could have just unbolted this, but easy enough to do it this way. Okay, now we've got a couple wires to reconnect and we'll put all the screws back in and uh, ready to roll. It helps if you have the plug the right way around when you're struggling to put it back in. Okay, that's it for under here. We're all buttoned up. So we'll just lightly close this. Put our nuts back on. Our single screw here. Now one of the two there was a lot better looking than that one. So we're gonna use that one. And we're gonna put our wipers back on. Just put on the clips, the final piece. Well, obviously the wipers are the final piece, but like I said, we gave them a little respray of the satin black so they're just drying um but what a difference that makes it makes the car look finished that's uh so much nicer to look at you still you got to clean up the dirt that was underneath there but wow what a difference that makes cheap easy to do little trim piece